Hi, I'm Brian Euler with Pioneer Builders and I've got the vapors, or do I? That's what we're gonna get into in this video. I'm gonna get into the building science. I am going to get into soil gas retarders. Specifically, this video is sponsored by ISI Building Products. Let's get into it. All right, parkour, hardcore. So what we have is when it comes to the major products, this right here is the Viper CS for crawl space. I'll go ahead and show you. It's a cross woven product. It uses virgin materials instead of recycled. I'm pretty sure this is a 10 mil product and there's no way I'm tearing that. Basically during construction, it's gonna be more durable and instead of recycled content, and there is a time and a place for recycled content, but in this case, you really only have one chance to do this right. So this product is gonna be stronger than what you typically see as a six mil vapor barrier. Mill is not short for millimeter, just, just so you know. Okay, then here's another one. It's a thicker roll, but it's actually pretty lightweight. So what we have here is the Viper CSX product. Yeah, that is something of a radiant barrier, but that's not its primary purpose. It just helps to keep it stronger. It has a little bit of foam to it. So basically, it is gonna be so much more comfortable to work on. What we've discovered accidentally, but it's become our standard, is to use the CS product on the vertical faces surrounding the foundation. Then we come back in later and we piece in the CSX because it's so much more comfortable to work from. A lot of times we obviously have our plumbers in the crawl space, but in this house, we'll probably have an indoor unit from a heat pump unit. If you're just able to work in a more comfortable environment, I am convinced that you end up getting a better product because the technicians that are there are just more comfortable and they can focus on the work at hand instead of even subconsciously being uncomfortable. A couple of other things. This is their double bond tape. I mean, I guess I would be like Daniel Craig and Timmy would be like Pierce Brosnan and we're like double bond. It's basically a two-sided tape. It comes tacky on one side, then the top peels off. And you can see that they've done some of their installation already. They've snapped the line for their mud sill. This will peel up. Then when we come down here, you can see they've already smushed this. It creates a good bond. It'll also help if there was any vapor or anything like that getting uh, stopped before it goes through. But it's also like your third set of hands. Later, they're gonna clamp this with mud sill. The alternative would be to use a termination bar. In our area, we don't really have to worry about pests. So you, we don't have to have like a port, an, uh, an inspection port like you might have to have in other parts of the country. Later, we're gonna come in with our Huber Zip R over the, the um, framing, and then Sega Fentrum is gonna come in here. That's gonna give us better blower door numbers, and that's one of the main reasons actually that I like unvented crawl spaces is try as we might, when we have a vented crawl, you're just asking for more air to be able to come up from the crawl space into the house. That's reflective of how the house will perform in service. So we're basically gonna have a more airtight home that we can control the interior environmental conditions. We talked about vapor, which is water in its uh, gas form. But there's also soil gas like radon that we might have to be able to control from getting into the indoor environment. So it's not just about the mold, it can also be potentially having cancer in our bodies. So this is also a radon soil gas retarder. So when you look in the building code, appendix AF, I think it is under radon control methods, you could use this product to control your radon. Of course, there's passive ventilation that you might have to think about, active ventilation. In our area, we have to solve for radon, even though when you look at the radon map, we're not a high radon county. It is what it is. 
And once you've done it once or twice, it's pretty simple. If you're in like Colorado or something, this is old hat to you. You're very familiar with solving for radon. Let's run down. We'll see some of this being installed and I'll show you some of the things to think about for logistics and procurement. <laughs> All right, I'm in the crawl space with my brother. Can't tell you how many times I've said that over the years. So what they've been using already is the CS product, and you can see it's draped vertically. Bear in mind there is a UV exposure limit that you want to think about. In our case, we're going to be putting the floor system on pretty quickly, so that's going to protect it. They're going to also take this and with our strip footings, drape it over. Then they're going to take the CSX, put it in the middle, and then this is Viper's uh, CS, their crawl space tape to tape all the seams. So, you know, the Pareto principle, the 80-20 rule, 80% 80 of it is gonna go super fast, 20% of it is being detailed, but that's gonna make sure that that uniform load of water vapor doesn't come through and penetrate your membranes here. On the procurement side, let's see what length this is. So this is a six foot roll. I don't remember all of the roll lengths that they have, but in this case, this is about a four foot tall wall. So I specified it so that it would drape over to be able to tie in. If this was a two foot wall, which would be in that world, maybe I would go with a four foot roll or something like that. We had about an eight to nine foot elevation difference from one side to the other on this Spec Zero project. So it was kind of like a snowflake, figuring out exactly what we want for each one of the places. Just get more than you need. You might be able to use this in another place in your house or on another project, but what you don't want is to hold up the entire project because you didn't order enough. All right, so we'll get out of the crawl space. You can kind of see how that's gonna shake out. Our next step on the interior is on the vertical. We're gonna install this rigid board from Powerwool. That's gonna go on the horizontal. We have a very unique floor system that we're gonna be putting in, but it is gonna be awesome. And then of course, there's the whole mechanical side. So I hope you enjoyed watching this and learning something. I think it's unique. One of my buddies, Clint Holsing, he's with Cascade Aero Barrier. He's like, I'm gonna be following your unvented crawl space very closely. I think when it comes to the building code and the execution, it's very hazy. It's very difficult to know exactly what we're gonna be doing and I think you're gonna enjoy seeing how this all gets constructed. So again, just giving the plug to ISI building products, Viper CS, Viper CSX, they have a whole ton of other products. Take a look at your specifications. If the architect just gave you a performance spec, you should be clear to get whatever you want. If he did something more specific, he or she, then you might have to do a submittal or something along those lines if you're doing one of those pretty amazing products. In my opinion, if you are doing a pretty amazing product project, you should use pretty amazing products. Talking to one of the installers who just so happens to be my brother, the double bond tape is amazing and it's extremely durable and it's not a super flexible, the uh, actual membrane itself isn't very flexible and that's not a bad thing. It just feels super high quality. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. Now go build something.